Hello everyone. Oi. Today we're going to be talking about the Brazilian carnival and guess what I'm going to dress up as? No clue. Let me tell you then. The one and only. She who's the best mythological creature from this country. Kuka. Our national alligator witch. She's lace. But before I explain the folklore behind Kuka, let's talk about carnival itself. And why do we celebrate it? Well, the Brazilian carnival, as we know today, is like the child of the European carnival brought by the Portuguese colonizers to this land. And of course, over the years, it got modified to fit our tropical culture. You see, in the past, people used to wear those fancy masks to hide their identities so nobody would be able to tell if they were up to some mischief or not. But nowadays, people use this four-day holiday to dress up cute and get drunk and, well, have fun. I, on the other hand, I don't enjoy drinking and dancing out in the sun all day, so I usually stay home, but this year I wanted to dress up as something weird because, you know, I figured why would I want to be sexy when I can be an alligator, you know? It's much more fun. And as for Kuka, she is this alligator witch. and. This fictional character is said to have come from the Iberian Peninsula and then this Portuguese slash Spanish tale got adapted him to our own Brazilian nursery rhyme that's got a few variations of course depending on the region of the country you are in but it usually goes this way Dó me neném que a cuca vem pegar. Papai foi pra roça, mamãe foi trabalhar. And it's just one of those creepy characters that's supposed to scare children into obeying their parents. But yeah, she became this national sensation due to being the main villain of Sítio do Pica-Pau Amarelo, the book series by Monteiro Lobato, that made its first appearance back in 1921, and it got countless TV adaptations, and most of the Brazilian population grew up watching Cuca on TV, like my mom told me that she was terrified of Kuka. <laughs> and well, I can talk about everything that's wrong with this series in another video, but right now I just want to honor this Regina George Alligator Witch, which was a huge part of my childhood. I grew up reading those books and watching the series and well, now I get to turn into Kuka. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and and well, just be careful and watch her back because she's out there in her swamp under the cave. She has enemies to take revenge on. She's powerful, she's unpredictable and she's dangerous. Thanks for watching. Ciao.